How are we all today, man? How are we all feeling today? Are we all good, man? So, cooking, curry. Always fun when I'm doing a cooking way. So is everybody today? You good? What are you all up to? I've been training and in the golf video and on the golf channel. What are you up to? It's just a standard curry, bro. Just like a tikka masala kind of thing. I add some different stuff to it, obviously. I always do. But nothing major, bro. Just an easy curry. Yeah, it's literally like not even that many ingredients today, just a standard curry. First, I've got to sort out the um, so fresh ginger, two onions, garlic, red pepper, chicken, tikka masala curry sauce. I'm going to use cumin, tiny bit of soy sauce, a little bit of harissa. And some, pep no, not paprika actually. I'm gonna use some turmeric. So that's it. And then just chop it all up, mix it all together. Job to fish. Yes, Adam. How are you, bro? Is everybody good? Are you all feeling frisky? Not long finished training. Oh, fucking shadow beggar. Jesus Christ. The weirdo of the century. I knew there was something up with that geezer. You all know I knew there was something up with that geezer. I just knew it, didn't I? So first things first, right? Chicken, right? Get the chicken out. And I'm gonna chop all the white bits off it, basically. So there's no chewy stuff in the chicken. Can't be having no chewy stuff in the chicken, it's illegal. Right, so. First things first. Get the chicken out and get to chopping, mate. Hello, sweetheart. Yeah, cut off the fat and all that, bro. Good afternoon, Deb. How are you, Deb? Simon? Yeah, cut all the white bits off, basically. All the fat and stuff, do you know what I mean? Otherwise, you end up with some nasty fucking chewy stuff on your chicken. And who wants nasty chewy stuff on the chicken, honestly? First, I'm going to get it all out. I'm going to chop it all up and I'm going to wash it. It's always good to wash your chicken as well, you know what I mean? Give it a bit of a wash, like. I've already washed my hands, by the way, folks. I have already washed my hands. I'm cooking up a nice curry. For the family. So I chop off basically all this kind of stuff. It's I don't know what it is, it's like ligaments and shit. But you know like all that nasty shit. Chop all that off, man. You don't want it in your chicken, trust me. It tastes better without it. You don't get no chewy stuff. When you get a chewy piece of chicken, that's because they haven't chopped that stuff out, mate. They've just like left it in there. And you get like a chewy piece of chicken, man, it's nasty. You know, if, you like, if, you ever, if any of you ever come to my house for tea, you can guarantee you won't get no bloody chewy chicken. I can guarantee you that. As Danny G cuts all that out, man. Like, all of it. It's not allowed to stay within my chicken. It's like illegal. <laughs> it's like proper illegal. Do you know what I mean? We're talking, it's like illegal. All right. It's not allowed to stay in Danny G's chicken, mate. It's all got to be cut out. All this nasty stuff, man. It's disgusting. Don't be wrong, I'm partial to a bit of a bone broth, like, because it's got loads of good stuff in it for you. 
So when Tony makes, I mean, Tony makes stews. I don't make stews, that's Tony's domain. Tony makes like a mean, mean, mean stew. Um, but Tony's in chat, tell yourself. Tony, everybody keeps telling me to get this chicken from the butcher and then you don't have none of this nasty shit in that I keep picking out. But, and I've heard that a few times, you know, I've been on live to get it from the butcher. I've heard that a few times. I mean, Tony buys it from like Asda and shit like that. Do you know what I mean? But a few people now, babe, have told me, you know, I don't eat clover garlic every day. I'll eat it occasionally. If I'm ill, yeah, I eat it every day then because it gets rid of the illness. But um, other than that, I don't eat it all the time. It's not like I eat it every single day. The only, I mean, when you do this, you end up chopping so much off. Like, it's unreal. I end up with half the chicken that I started with. I'm not even joking. Every time, man, I end up with half the fucking chicken. that I, I cut half the chicken off, you know. I end up cutting half of the fucking shit off, man. You got your first pull-up. What do you mean? Oh, pull-up, pull-up. You mean as in... Pull up. Fair play, man. Fair play, respect. <coughs> Cooking away, mate. My wife, Tony, my beautiful wife, Tony, is now on her way home. Yeah. Loves it when I cook for her. Do you know what I mean? She always, she says it always tastes better than you when somebody else cooks it. Yeah. <laughs> so she says to me all the time, it always tastes better than you when some fucker else cooks it. It's one of her favourite sayings, that is. That's why when we go out, yeah, for something to eat, she loves it, man. I mean, we'll go out quite a lot for something to eat, but she loves it because she's like, yeah, I ain't got to cook it, I ain't got to do no washing up or nothing. <laughs> right then, so... Just make sure. Yeah, that's all of it out. So, now I've chopped it all out. Here's where we are, yeah? Now I'm just gonna go and clean this meat. Right, so I'm gonna go and clean it underneath the tap. Clean the side down. Of course, that chopping vegetables and shit. One minute, everyone. First of all, I need to use this. Hold on everybody, I'm just cleaning where I'm like chopping. I've got to chop the meat again, but first I want to clean up where I've already been like, you know, chopping. Literally. Just give me two seconds. And I'm gonna bring the now washed meat back over. Chop it into chunks and then clean again and then vegetables. Right, there we 
of a gun. The meat is clean, ready to be chopped. And I'll just chop this shit into chunks, right? All about the same size though. So we're looking for about that size. And then, uh, hold on, I need, to, I need to get the, uh, the peppercorns and salt out of that one minute. That's what I need then. So how are we all today? How are we all fucking doing? Are we all having a nice day? Are you all feeling a little bit frisky? Oh, I will be after this bloody curry. I mean, what's up, what's up, what's up? What you all up to, man? I'm just cooking, obviously. Cooking for our Tony G and the kids. Oh, big platter of meat. Lots of protein, mate. We love a bit of protein, man. Yeah, but we do love a bit of protein, you know. Chilled and relaxed. That's what I like to hear, man. Chilled and relaxed. That's what we like to hear around here. We like when people are chilled and relaxed. Diablo, it's game in it. Yes, Zoxy, my brother from another mother. Goddamn down under with a fucking average in the peace pipe. Stuck straight up Sam's his fucking jacks. He's got himself a Sheila. All right, Zox, how you doing, brother? You all right, mate? <laughs> Working out until failure. Well done. That's what we'd like to see. That'll fucking hurt tomorrow, but it'll be worth it. Yes, Danny. How you doing, Danny? Oh, my chicken's nearly chopped. Yeah, Kenzie, I haven't been on comments yet from yesterday because I've been busy all day, right? But I will go on comments at some time this afternoon. Have you put the link in the comments and shit? Or have you just wrote a comment so I can click on your name? So I can do that, yeah? Have you done that? Because you know me, I fucking... I like, I'll be like a little dog of a bone once I get on there and I'll get the shit done. You know, I'll put your channel on my community page. But you know what I'm like about finding shit on YouTube? I'm not the best. What have you been, what have you been up to today anyway, Kenzie? What have you been doing, lad? You still with that girl? Or are you with a different one there? Um, rice, mate. We're having rice with it. Just white, normal rice. Are you still with that girl, Kenzie? Are you with a different girl now? Are you still with the same girl? Yeah, it will be very nice when it's done. Are you with none? Fair play, Kenz. Fair play. Welcome making yourself an absolute fucking machine then, lad. Yes, Dr. Bagwit, how you doing? Right, so on this now. I'm just going to wash my hands. Right, so, on this now, I'm going to add salt. Pepper. Turmeric. Harissa. Cumin. And a little bit of soy sauce. Like that. I'll mix it all together with my hands. Right. Mix it all together. Once it's all mixed in there, put that to the side, We're ready for when we start cooking. Now, clean the side up again. Now we want to get all meat juices off there, because we're going to be cutting vegetables up, so clean the side off again, get all meat juices off the side, give it a good clean. 
make sure it's a clean surface. Yeah, her is Moroccan spice and it's very spicy. So be very careful with it because it's very fucking spicy. It's a bit like chili. It's kind of like a bit chili. Well, it's not like, it's not chili, but it's a bit like chili. to the vegetables well there isn't actually many because I'm not putting too much in it it's going to be a very basic curry this one um, so fresh ginger yes Doug how are you doing um, fresh garlic garlic cloves now I'm going to use one little one and one big one not a more massive one but a decent sized one Oh, that size right so ginger I'm gonna use about that much so that much ginger which I'm gonna peel and two cloves of garlic good afternoon lilac one clove of garlic this big one clove of garlic this big okay Peel the garlic and chop it very fine. You don't want no big chunks of garlic in your food, yeah? You want the flavor in there and you want the health benefits that you get from garlic, but you don't want no big chunks of garlic in your freaking food, because it's not nice if you just get a big chunk in your mouth. So chop all this shit, it's like the ginger, chop it fine, yeah? Um, ginger's a root as well, so it's very tough, all right? Uh, the ginger and the garlic go in the pan first to cook. I cook with just butter, so for me it'll just be butter and ginger and garlic in the pan first. Let them cook, I'll keep moving them, I'll keep stirring them, right? And then I'll add the, then I'll add the onions. And then once the onions have been in for maybe a minute, then I'll add the chicken. Then once the chicken's been in, and it's, and it's cooked basically, virtually cooked anyway, I'd say about 80% cooked, then I'll add the red pepper. Then I'll cook it all together, then I'll add the sauces. Done. Let it cook for about 40 minutes and it'll be nice. It'll have a lot of flavour in there. All the flavour you'll need, trust me. Yeah, and it's very nice. Very easy to make as well. This is like a really easy thing to make, so. So. Oh, shit. Two pieces of garlic, right? Yeah? Chop them really fucking fine. I'll show you what I mean when I've done it. So at the moment I've got like big fucking chunks like this, yeah? Right? But this is what I brought this knife over for. And I won't just chop it, I'll crush it with the blade as well. I'll literally crush the shit out of this garlic with this blade. Right, and then I'll go over it again with the little blade to make sure that it's in as smallest chunks as I can manage to get into. I mean, they don't have to be microscopic. I'm not saying they have to be microscopic. They just have to be small, do you know what I mean? Seriously, they just have to be small. So now I've chopped this quite small now, yeah? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the blade on and I'm gonna crush it. Then, I'm gonna get this little blade and I'm just gonna chop through the, the pile that I've got here now. Just keep chopping through because this little blade is fucking razor sharp. And then I'm going to end up, look, with that size. All of it wants to be about that size. Thank you for subbing. I'm great, Zia. Cheat at what? Yes, tough look. How you doing, brother? Should get a job as a chef. I'm not a chef, bro. I just enjoy cooking and I cook a lot for my family and stuff. 
I'm not a chef, bro, by any stretch of the imagination. I like cooking because, obviously, health is wealth. Um, thank you, Tough Love. Thank you very much. Yeah, health is wealth, so it's kind of one of them ones I know the correct foods to eat, and obviously, if I'm feeding my family those, those same things, then my family are also getting healthy. Do you get what I mean? So it's like, a, it's like I'm getting healthy, but my family's also getting healthy because I'm always cooking with fresh produce that's very good for you. If I could choose one career, you know what I'd choose, Tough Love. You don't need to ask me that. You know what I would choose, brother. You actually know. Everybody, most people here would know. If I could choose one career, what I would choose. You know what that is, Tough. You shouldn't even need to ask me that, brother. No, not a boxer, no. Golf, exactly. Everybody who knows me should know. If I could pick one career to be a pro at, and I could just be given like pro golf, exactly golf, 100%. That's my first love. So yeah, I could do that shit all day, every day, not a problem. It wouldn't be a problem for me to literally play golf all day, every day. Do you know what I mean? And get paid enough so that I don't have to worry about earning money any other way. I can just play golf. Do you know what I mean, right? And that's just what I've got to do. All I've got to do is play golf and just get, and just stay as good as I am and just keep playing. That's all I've got to do. Man, that'd be a dream. So. Garlic, ginger. Done. All chopped up into very small pieces. Yeah? They're going to go in the pan at the same time. So now onion. Now I've got two onions. Um, one normal size, one a bit smaller. Peel the onions, obviously. <laughs> obviously, peel the onions, take the skin off, right? Yeah, follow the sun and play golf. But Jesus Christ, what a life. What a life. I'll get really good, brother. You know, I'm, you know, I'll get really good. I don't know how good I'm going to get, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good anyway. So, and he's watched me play golf. It's not like I'm shit at it, right? I'm pretty good at it, but I'm not pro level or anything like that. But let's see how far I can go with it, because I'll never stop playing it ever again. I, did, I don't know why I stopped playing it. I just did. Do you know what I mean, right? But I'll never stop playing it again. Happy Monday! Happy Monday! Happy Monday! It'll be happy for me in about 10 minutes when my wife walks in that door. <laughs> I, do, I, I love watching, I love it when Tony walks in every day after work, with a big smile on my face. She'll be in a good mood as well, because she knows I'm cooking tea. Yeah, I know, tough sent me that. Yeah, it was tough that paid for the round at Centre Knock. He's an absolute tank. Do you know what I mean, seriously? Um, yeah, tough's a, tough's a good person, man. I speak to tough offline and stuff. We were speaking earlier about my golf swing. It was tough. It was tough luck who got me to start being more aggressive, you know, when I play. Like, rather than aiming to roll on and stuff like that. And to be honest, it was because of my aggressive play and tough talking me into playing more aggressive. Because it was tough that talked me into that. Yeah. Um, that made me decide to get the blades. Because with the blades, when I get good with them, with my clubs, right... My old clubs. They're really good for hitting the ball a long way, right? And they don't have much spin, like as in backspin, right? So they roll a lot when they hit the floor. With these new clubs, they don't fucking roll at all when they hit the floor. Like they hit the floor and they stop dead. So once I get good with them, I'll be able to play super aggressive. Like, I've never been able to just aim for a pin before. Do you get what I mean? I've never been able to actually aim for a pin, you know, and to, to land the ball on the pin. I've never been able to do that before. I've always had to play for forward roll. Always. Not no more. <laughs> How tough it was, it was you. Like, you know what I mean? I'm always, I'm always real as fuck, but if it was you that got me to start playing aggressive, I can't wait till I can handle these clubs better so I can start playing really aggressive with them. Do you know what I mean? I can't wait, mate. Seriously, I'm going to drop this shit on the flag so many times.
So many people, you know, was telling me to give up, man. Do you know what I mean? Ah, oh, Tuff's a good lad. Yeah, so many people, Tuff, were trying to get me to give up with them clubs, you know. Ah, oh, Danny, you're never going to be able to use them. Just swap them for fucking some cavity backs, blah, blah. And I was like, no, man. I put my foot firmly on the floor, but I was like, no. I will learn to use these clubs. These clubs will not fucking beat me. Do you get what I mean? And I have kind of, kind of. Right, so we've got onions now. Onions done. Red pepper. One large red pepper. Now with a pepper, if you just cut off the top, yeah? I mean, most of you should know this anyway. But if you don't know this, then you find out now. And you're left with that. If you cut that, cut that, and cut that, and just tap it, it comes out. Cut, cut, and cut. Tap. Out it comes. Right, and then just tap to get the rest of the seeds out. I mean, the odd seed won't kill you. Do you know what I mean? You don't want to get, you don't want to be eating loads of them now. But the odd seed, the odd seed won't kill you. I'm going to get, I'm going to make sure I've got most of them out there. There we go, there's a couple of little ones left at the bottom of the whole bit. Now we want to chop these into about the same size as the onions, all right? Everything wants to be sized quite the same. It's like your meat, when you cook, right, when, the thing is, when you're cooking stuff, right, if it's all the same size, it all cooks at the same time, yeah? If it's all different sizes, it all cooks at different times. So that's why I'm always cutting stuff to the same size. There is a method behind the madness, there is a reason for it. I'm not just doing it to be like anal, do you know what I mean? I'm doing it because if it's all the same size, it all cooks at the same time. And then you end up with like a overall, you know, like you haven't got one onion, you haven't got half of your onions that are, are soft and cooked properly and then half of your onions that are uncooked because they're fucking this big, do you get what I mean? So there is a reason why I chop it all like the same kind of size. You're bored today. What you been, what you, are you having a, it's just one of them days, bro. Just one of them fucking days, bro. We'd all have them, you know, son. We all fucking have them. I have boring days myself. I do try and keep myself as busy as much as possible. I mean, I've trained today and I've done a grip video for my golfing channel and I've done a few TikTok lives and I'm now I'm doing a YouTube live and I've cleaned up and so I've kept myself as busy as I can be, like, you know what I mean? It's not been the most exciting of days, put it that way. Oh, we're nearly at the point of cooking now, folks. We're nearly at the point of cooking. This will be really nice when it's done, by the way, folks. Uh, when it comes to putting them ingredients in, like, you know, the cumin and the harissa and that, the only one that really will change the flavour of this is if you put loads of harissa in, and it will, right? But what I'm saying to you is, that shit is powerful, it's potent, it really is, man. So if you put loads of that in, I hope you like spice. I hope you can take heat. Because trust me, that shit is spicy, man. Like, it's, it's, it's especially spicy. It's just especially spicy. It's a wee bit of a, ooh. Trust me. I mean, Tony doesn't, Tony doesn't take harissa too well, um, as in if it's too spicy. She can take some spice though, Tony can. Apple pies and sticky toffee. I love that kind of shit. That's one of my favorite desserts, apple pie. One off. Not my favorite, but one off my favorites. Right, so. Oh, I'll sort this rubbish out in a minute. Afternoon, so we've got peppers, onions, garlic and ginger, meat. Right, and that's all we need. So now I'm going to bring you over here, over to the cooking process. Yeah, the cooking area. All right, hold on. There we go. Right, so now, clean pan. Clean pan, yeah? Bring the meat over. Now you know I just cooked the butter, right? 
you know I just cook with butter, right? Yeah. Um, I've had to take it back over here for a second. Yeah, while well, I just get. Oh, no, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to clean this, uh, clean this side before I start cooking. Right, so I'm just going to clean this side, then I'll start cooking. So otherwise, I'll fucking have to do it when I've finished, and I'd rather do it when I'm going along. I always clean up when I'm going along. Saves on to do it when I've finished. So, how's your busy day? Try out at Ruby. What's, I don't know what Ruby is, James. How you doing? How are you doing anyway today, James? You good? Oh, rugby. Fair play. Fair play, little man. You'll enjoy it, you know, James. You'll enjoy rugby. That fucking training will help you in that, kid. Training will, my, my training will proper help you in rugby, James. Trust me on that one, little man. It's going to benefit you now. Especially when it comes to your fitness and your power. What did I have in, in that cup on the last cooking one? Oh no, it was it was a mixture of tomato puree, um, soy sauce, chili, like a chili sauce, like a spicy tomato chorizo sauce with some salt, pepper, chili flakes. It was the, it was the sauce for the chili. It was the sauce to go into the chili. Disconnected then. That's a bit weird. Yeah. I don't know why that one disconnected. Right, so I put you in the pan. Just heating it up, really. I've got two big spoonfuls of butter in there. You don't sweat when you work out, that's mad. If I could live in any era. Ooh. Um, probably the ancient Roman times, you know, bro. I think it would be interesting as fuck to live in them times, I'm being honest, I think it'd be proper interesting. The ancient Roman times, man. Like Julius Caesar times and that. I think that would be so interesting. Everybody would think Vikings, wouldn't they? Yeah. But no, to be honest with you, I honestly think if I had a choice, like Rome, ancient Rome, because of how nutty it was, I would have loved to have been there to see all the nutsness. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, ancient Rome, because it's just, it would have been mad. All right, garlic and ginger. In they go. Now we're gonna cook this garlic and ginger down for a couple of minutes. Yeah, with the Viking Age, there wasn't really much going on a lot of the time. With ancient Rome, it was as much as I would love to. I mean, I would love to go back and see all of the eras, including the Viking Age and, you know, fucking 300, you know what I mean? Fucking ancient Greece. and I'd like to go back and see them all, but ancient Rome, I think, would be the most exciting. Danny question at Woman Troubles. Are you about Cumbria? In back with her. I don't know what you mean by that. You got me lost there, kid. Hi, Lila. Medassi, how you doing, bro? You good?
Oh, you're having women troubles. Well, bro, all I can say is like, keep your woman happy and you'll be happy. That's the best way to describe it to you, bro. So, Tony, when she gets home, Tony be happy as shit. The house is clean. Do you know what I mean, right? I'm cooking tea, yeah. I've done some, what I needed to do on social for today. So my missus will be buzzing when she walks in the door. She'll give me a kiss and a love. She'll be all happy and that. So yeah, happy wife, happy life, mate. That's, I mean, keep them happy. That's the main thing. It's not always about your wants and your needs. You do have, sometimes have to put other people first. Including like your missus, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't even know what money troubles you're having, bro. But this is just general advice to everybody. Onions now. Cook the onions up there. We've got a nice buttery sauce going on. Ginger, God, here she is. Here she is. The woman of my dreams. Tony G. Hello, darling. Yeah. Let's see when I just like some milk and some milk for the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it's all stuffed up. I'll tell you what, Bob, you're looking particularly uh, tongue today. Yeah. Your ass on the top of your legs is looking particularly tongue today, Bob. You're doing some training or something. So yeah, I can always, can, can always tell when you've been training. I can just tell. Even if it was hours ago, I can just tell. How are you, my darling? You good? Right, so we're here now. Yeah, now goes in the meat that we prepared earlier. Here's some meat that I prepared earlier. Into the pan it goes. Take it, baby. Yeah, go. Hello, Nessie. How you doing, bro? How is everybody today? You all having a general good day? As you can see, I'm happy again. I just subscribed to Ken's channel. How have you? Yeah. Tony, subscribe to your channel, Ken's. Tony G, subscribe to your channel, Ken's. What did you ask for two? I didn't ask for anything, but you can let me, uh, whatever you want, babe. Tony works as a cleaner in the college. He's been there for years and years and years. Take this. <laughs> yeah. By the way, because of the stuff, because of all the stuff that I put in here, right? right. You don't it's actually have it. to. Um, you don't actually yeah. have to. Like, no, put anything else in it. Trust me, you don't, because there's already enough stuff all in it. Yeah. So once I add the sauce. And the red peppers is done, man. I'm just gonna cook this chicken first. Okay. And when you're cooking chicken, make sure it's cooked all the way through. Trust me. Oh yeah, I love Tony immensely, man. She's the love of my life, man. My soulmate. We've been together 23 years, nearly, bro. 
I mean, so. She's my baby. My beautiful Tony. The woman of my dreams. She makes me very, very happy. I mean, and I make her very, very happy. We make each other very, very happy. Yeah, we make each other extremely, to be honest, extremely happy. Where you get that early, Danny? Who's that, bro? Who's that? That one's Paula from one. Eat, Paula. She's in hospital. <laughs> Eat some good food, man. It'll be, you'll feel really better. Great day, Ross. How are you? Are you good? Are you good? Are you good? Just chilling, cooking a curry for the family and that. Don't mind me, just chilling here, cooking, cooking the curry. Red pepper, man. Red pepper, man. Right now, this, madly enough, is nearly done. It's nearly done, folks, so we've nearly finished cooking. Um, you'll have to go back to the beginning of the live, bro. Do you know what I mean? When I, you know what I mean? Rewind back to the beginning, then you'll be able to see how, what I've put in it and what I've, do you know what I mean? How I've cooked it and whatever. Um, well, basically, yeah, before I put these sauces in now, these chicken tikka masala sauces, right? Obviously, you know, I've added other stuff to this. So... Well, basically, Tony's 53, bro. Well. She's 53, not 43. Another 10 years, Lanessi. She's 53. So that's where we are now. And now, just add the sauces, let it cook for about 45 minutes. I mean, and that's it. Job's official. Tony's nearly 54, she's 54 in December. Um, I don't, yeah, we have got Nan. Yeah, I've got, we have got Nan. Okay, you take care. See you later, bye. Okay, bye. You take care of yourself. Bye. Bye bye. 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 Bless her. Is she in hospital for though? Because she's got really, really bad um, something wrong with her kidneys, so they've just got her on dialysis and all that. She's in an um, OIT and. Fucking hell, man. She's alright, bless her. I'm just a tough woman, she's that woman, so she's. No, she's 17. She's a tough woman, she's alright, and then she's Right now. Turn this right down and just add the sauces now. Yeah, and then that is it. Let it cook for 45 minutes and it's done. There you go, sweetheart, done. Oh, do you know something? Do you know what I will say to you? Yeah? With this, it's not like I've made my own. I've not made my own. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not, I have, this is shop bought. Do you know what I mean? I just didn't want anybody thinking I'd made some chicken tikka masala sauce, like, off camera. Do you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to do that. Like, I wanted to be honest with you, like, and let you all know that, yeah, it's shop bought. Rather than making out, you know, that I'm like some magic chef that's made the best sauce ever off camera. But no, these sauces are really nice, man. So, um, I haven't made it. I haven't made it earlier. Yeah.
Everything else I've made fresh myself, <laughs> apart from the sauce, like. I can make a curry sauce. I made, I've made loads and I've I can make a curry sauce. Yeah, but it's to this is nice, like Tony loves this, so. I prefer the one jar fraser, but you don't like that because it's too hot for your meat. Yeah, it's too spicy. <laughs> no, I can take the jar fraser, but you know. That's the one I made last time when I was on holiday. And it was what you put in there. Nah, no, but you, no, but that was all normal though, that. That was like, that I was... I put the wrong thing in the bottom. Yeah, I'm just saying to you, bro, because that was like Madras or some shit, man. That really, ki that really killed my ass. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That was like, it was normal though, was it? I <laughs> I mean, it was normal. You can't tell me that shit was normal, man, because that was illegal and everything. That there should have been laws against that one in in many countries. Like the shit, there should have been laws. But and there you go. Let it cook forty five minutes. <coughs> Oh. And that's it. Jobs of fish, Fanny's your aunt, Bob's your uncle. 45 minutes, it'll be done. Add rice, bit of naan bread. Jobs of fish, Fanny's your aunt, Bob's your uncle. Boom. Food is made. <laughs> the family will love it. They'll really enjoy it. They always enjoy it when I cook food. I cook food fucking every day, don't I? So. Uh, it will be very nice, folks. That will be very nice, trust me. I've had butter chicken. Yes, yeah, my mum's favourite curry, that. Butter chicken is my mum's favourite curry. Yes, Kenzie. Cleaned up everywhere. Fucking everything's clean. You know what I mean? All Tony's got to do now is just sit down, relax. I'll make the rice and stuff in a bit, feed Tony. Then take her to bed and feed her again with some sausage roll. That's the job's fish. Tony, have a wicked night. What do you say, Bab? Bab, mushroom tip sausage roll, action. Hide the sausage roll, Bab. What are you saying? Feed me frisky. Might be alive all night. Huh? <laughs> <sighs> I made six hours yesterday, yeah. Say again, baby. Did you unlock a six-hour yesterday? Something like that, yeah. What are you saying, Nessie? <laughs> I don't really... I've, like I've, I have always said to you, I'm much bigger in person than I am on camera. Like That's all I'll say. I'm a much bigger geezer in person than I am on camera. I think my personality makes me a little bit bigger as well, to be honest. So I've got a very, 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 very jury cell person on the about me, mate. I'm a lot bigger in person, yeah. Yeah, comment after so I could so I can subscribe. Tony's already subscribed, Kenzie. All you got, Tony G is a fan, mate. She's already on that shit. Acoustic. Um, has brought out two songs on his channel, you know, by the way. So if you ain't saw them, go and check them out. Big up, Damo. Big up, big up. No, but a serious question now, though. Huh? Serious ones, though, because it is a serious question. to look and want to tell you this man because you, you might you might you might get pissed off but we don't hide nothing from the stream do we, we don't hide nothing from the world we're always honest daily uh. and i'm gonna get angry prepare yourself you need to hold yourself down for this one Some fucking mushroom tip and fairy cake action. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> 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 Hello, Tony. Hello. 
<laughs> what are you saying, Bob? What are you saying, though? That was a fucking serious question. And you're making me laugh. It's supposed to be said really seriously. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. Sorry, excuse me, I must monster a drug past in the bar. Let me show you. Oh, damn it. Tell Danny Paddy says hello. Oh, forgive me. Tell Tony Paddy, tell Danny Paddy says hello. Yeah. Fucking Paddy. <laughs> well, they're asking me. I don't know, Paddy, I don't know who Paddy is, man, I ain't got a fucking clue. Well, he obviously knows me. <laughs> what does he look like? I don't know, he's on a bar through the morning past. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know who he is. Uh, click on his name. Click on Kenzie's name. Click on his name. I, I'm on the live, so I don't think I can do it when I'm on the live. Let's have a look. Oh, this pisses me off. This does not. I'm going to try and do this. It never lets me do it. I can't do it while I'm on live, mate. It does my fucking Sweden. I can't. I can't do it while I'm on live, you know, Kenzie. It does my fucking Sweden. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to be my day after that. I didn't train now, though. Mm, well, I'm thinking. Bear trolls in that room. Oh, there's always bear trolls on TikTok, bro. It's full of them. TikToks. Just full of them. Just yeah, just full of them. But I ignore them, so they go away. After a while, because I ignore them, I totally like blank them. Pisses them right off, it makes me laugh. I start to get, st stop fucking ignoring me. And I'm just ignoring them. It's fucking wonderful. I love it, you know, it's great. It, makes, it gives me a great sense of pleasure. I know there's some little fucking trolling worm somewhere sat in a room getting really stressed because I won't answer his stupid comments. So what's I've been up to today then? You know what I've been up to? Training, filming, doing the fucking dishes, hoovering the fucking floor. Look at the fucking carrot. But later on, I'm gonna dive straight into Tony's fairy cake. Like an Olympic diver. Off the top of the wardrobe. Double backflip. I'm gonna land tongue first, mate. To break my fall into the pink walls. You know what I mean? I can't help it when Tony's around. Cause she drives me fucking inside. She's, boy, look, she's right next to me now. Don't you fucking laugh at me in that tone of sexy. Well, you'll pay the fucking price. Might get a little bit fucking leery in here, darling. Might have to stick my fucking tongue in your fucking ear hole. Look at you, you're looking all fucking sexy sitting there in your fucking work garb, your little, your little photo idea around your neck. Fucking look at how happy she looks, fucking hell. A right smile on your face. <laughs> all the fucking time, mate. Big smile on your face, darling. Fucking gorgeous. Fucking gorgeous, mate. Fuck, that's all I'm saying, you're fucking gorgeous. You know what you remind me of? You know what you, you remind me of? The fucking best New York cheesecake. That I've ever seen in my life, mate. I wouldn't even fucking eat you in pieces. I'd eat the whole fucking thing, mate. <laughs> uh, I'm not working at the moment, Dagos. I've been working for a while. I'm waiting for an operation on this hand. But it's not coming, so by the end of September, I'm going to go back to work again and an operation on my hand, because it's doing me in there. 
course you can send me your workout progress, mate. Anybody can send me the workout progress, I'll get back to you when I can, and I'll let you know how much of a fucking beast you've become, mate. Have you become a fucking beast in the arena? Of course you have. Going to golf with tomorrow, then? Uh -huh. After work? Uh -huh. What do you mean, no, man? Have you got a night before? Since when did you do that? I thought you were meant to be there, Mr. Weber. No, I'm giving you. I know, Dagos. I'm just going to go back to work, though, probably, and then they'll probably get, get to me next year or something. Fuck you, I don't know. I'm good, big thing. How are you, bro? You having a good day? So yeah, that's how I'll probably run, brother. I'll probably end up fucking... I'll get a phone call next July or something. Ready for your operation? Well, for fuck's sake. Yeah. So yeah, I think, I'm, I mean, they might get back to me in the next few weeks. It's been eight weeks since I had the CT scan. So if they get back to me in the next couple of weeks, then obviously I'll have the operation. But if not, end of September, I said to Tony, I'm going to get to the end of September. And if they ain't got back to me, I'm going back to work. It'll take me a week to get a job as well. No more than a week. I'll have a job within a week, so I'll be back to work. Nah, I wasn't going private, bro. Oh, no, it's, right, it's, it's a private surgery. The surgeon herself runs her own private surgery. So she's gonna t she said she's gonna put me into her private surgery in Wales. But I haven't done all that, she's done that. Do you know what I mean? Not for her own, but I presume she's gonna charge the government for this new procedure that's just coming. I don't fucking know, mate. 3D printing a fucking titanium plate to fit my hand. Nothing, Enrique. You haven't missed anything, bro. Just me cooking some curry. That's about it, really. Bobby, you can give that curry a start. Mm -hmm. I'm probably able to taste the sauce now. See what actually, because all the flavours will be in there now. See what it tastes like. Tony loves tasting the stuff. She loves it. She always, she's always the one who tastes everything that I make. It's like her little job. She loves it, man. Oh, they're not health struggles, bro. It's just my hands fucked. It's not fucked. It's not fucked. Um, my grip is nowhere near as good as what it was. Yeah. And it's it's not as strong as what it was. But apart from that, it's not like I'm I'm fine. If you're in Birmingham, would I let you in my house for some tea? Probably, if I'm in, bro. Anybody's welcome at my house, mate. It's not like, you know, it's one of them ones. I would imagine people are going to come in and treat my house with respect. I hope they would. <laughs> it's not really a good idea not to, so. I hope whoever decides to come to my house will treat it with respect, because if not, we'd have a problem. But I am very welcoming. You are looking particularly fit today, don't you? Oh. You're looking particularly like delicious. I don't know the best way to describe it. Maybe we can kill golf tomorrow. Hmm? Maybe we can kill golf. What it would? Just a quick. Oh. Just a quick thing, man. Just see if I can fucking grab all these irons for most of the game. Mm -hmm. One of the Rage videos has 135,000 subs. 
Bro, I just done super chat. Gave you four ninety nine. Did I get it? No, bro. I didn't, no. It would have come up on my screen. It'd be up there for you lot to see, I think. If I'd had it. No, I haven't. Not when people donate. So no, brother, I didn't. Let me have a, let me have a, let me have a look. Back up. Is it sometimes it'll tell me in chat? Most of the time, though, it just comes up on the top of the screen. No, bro. No, MC. No, no, definitely not. It hasn't come through to me. No, it, normally it just comes up on the screen, bro. And I'm doing press ups. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because I do press ups for donations. So when somebody donates to me, I do shout you out and give you press ups. So I'm sorry. That's the first time that's ever happened, bro. So, um, so I do apologise, brother, about you losing that. Do you know what I mean? I don't know where that's fucking gone because it ain't come to me. I'll still give you the 10 press ups, though, bro, because you did donate it. It's just not come to me. Fuck knows where that's gone. Do you know what I mean? Seriously, <laughs> fuck knows where that's gone. Well, I mean, I'll give you the 10 press ups anyway, bro. Do you know what I mean? Because, you know, I mean, it's very, like, oh, you know, fucking hell, it doesn't matter to me, does it? Thanks for the donation. I don't know where it's gone, though, bro. Because it ain't come through to me, lad. <laughs> well, there you go. Good little warm up for me, anyway. Ah, oh, there we go. I've just got it. <laughs> I've just got it, bro. Look, it's on the screen now. You can see it now. In chat. Thank you for the donation, brother. That's why I gave you the press-ups, because I'm sure you've, you know what I mean, donated to me. So thank you very much for the donation, brother. Yeah, it's just come through now, look. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, are you doing it again? Oh, fucking hell. Thank you very much, bro. Thank you very much. Um, but I did believe you'd sent the first donation. That's why I gave you the press-ups, brother. Some people I know, like, are chances, but I just knew by the way he was talking to me. So, respect, man. Thank you for the donation. Uh, mine and Tony's channel will be probably end of this week. Yeah, probably end of this week, to be fair. I would imagine. Mine and Tony's channel. Um, hopefully. Thank you, MC. No worries. Thank you very much, bro. Thanks for the donation. Enough respect. Thank you very much. Um, what's it taste like? Oh, I'm trying to be good. What do you mean? I need you to try it because I need to know. Because I've met the one, the glorious one for the Tony G. And is it glorious? This is what I need to know. It's what husband, I'm husband. Sure it will, though. Husband needs to know if it's glorious. Because if it's glorious, then the mushroom tip is going to get some mushroom tippage. I know this. Did you go off to my yacht to cook my food early? <laughs> what am I cooking yet? Yeah? The rumble will be out probably to, uh, tomorrow. I think I'm going to release rumble. Huh? Uh, pork chops out, so pork chops. I should do it now. Okay. Like a mini Sunday dinner then, yeah? So if you just do it, I'll do it, baby. I will do it, sweetheart. I will do it, my little darling. It will be done, my darling. Tomorrow, and I'll try and keep this as as clean as possible. I've got some shit to do tomorrow. I've got to release Rumble tomorrow, so I've got to I've got to download Rumble onto the new phone. I've got to do a video. I've got to find out how. To, I've got to find out how to use Rumble. I don't even know how to use this fucking thing. It's gonna be totally new to me. I mean, so I do I've, I've like you know I've got to do. I've got to release that grip video of my golf grip video as well onto my golf channel. So I've got to do Rumble tomorrow. First video on Rumble. I don't know, what do you think I should do? You can do any drink, will you? Yeah, that's what I mean. What do you think I should do? Let's do all drinks. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you know, after this video, after this live, yeah, you're only going to have tonight to really put your opinions in there. Right. Um, let me know what you'd probably, what would you like me to talk about in the first Rumble video? Right. 
So what would you like me to talk about in the first Rumble video? What would you enjoy? <laughs> yeah. Um, no worries, I'll have a look when I can. What would you lot want me to talk about on Rumble for the first vid? Don't forget I can speak about anything, right? See, I was going to speak about the Manhattan Project. That's what I was going to speak about. And I was going to give you the whole truth, how I see it. Now, it's not like, I mean, a lot of this is through research and stuff, but I was going to give you the truth blatantly, how I see it. Things I have not really been able to tell you in one coherent sentence before. So I was going to do, you know, like a video on the Manhattan Project. If you don't know what that is... That's the making of the first atom bomb. So that's what I was going to do. Oh no, Rumble's got nothing to do with my upbringing, bro. It's got nothing to do with my life, really. It's just going to be me talking about mad shit. Here he is. Acoustic's brought out two... I told him earlier, Acoustic. He's brought out two music videos today, you know, by the way, folks. So go and check Acoustic's new music. Well, YouTube doesn't want me to talk about that, bro. Definitely. Definitely 100%. Does not want me to talk about that. Does not want me to talk about that, which will probably be the next video. Does not want me to talk about that. Anything that he doesn't want me to talk about is what I'm going to do. I've got about 10 videos in my head all ready to go. I'm releasing one a week. So that's 10 weeks of videos I've already got in my head. I just don't know what order I'm going to release them in. So... <laughs> Did you just hear that geezer? <laughs> His shadow box is coming for me after Decker. <laughs> oh god. I'm 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 shaking, bro. I'm, I'm fucking terrified. I swear, I don't know if you could Bobby bring my charger back in. I'm really fucking scared, bro. Like, oh my god, please. Please, please. <laughs> It's in there somewhere. Jesus, the geezers are fucking raw, fucking dickhead, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> I'd flatten that geezer in about 30 seconds. He's an absolute fucking waste, man. He would get absolutely paggered. <laughs> You'd get proper bashed around, man. That's another vid that I will do, 9-11. That's another vid that I'll do. I've got another vid that I'm going to do about Africa and Gaddafi. I'm going to do another vid about Castro and Cuba. All right? I've got a few vids, you know, that will real open your eyes. Oh, seriously, seriously, seriously hurting, bro. It wouldn't be a fair fight, me and him. I mean, because I know what he's convicted of. If I do see him, I will smack him in the face. I mean, and he'll only take one, bro. But it really wouldn't be a fair fight. I'll tell you that, mate. It wouldn't be a fair fight between me and that dude. That dude could not fight with me. Like, that. I, I don't ever say it unless I'm sure. I've seen him train now. I've seen what he can do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My man is slow as fuck, he's unfit, he's got low agility, he's got low footwork, he's unbalanced. <laughs> he can't take a punch. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know how he had so many people fooled. Jesus Christ. Do you know what I mean? I don't even know how he had so many people fooled, man. Like, it was like mad. Everybody was honestly thinking, like, you know, that this geezer could, like, fight with Danny Christie and all this kind of stuff. What the fuck? No. No chance, man. I can't believe it when he's like, yeah, I'll fight you, Danny Christie, I'll fight you. Do you know what I mean? Mate, you get your head took off. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I can speak about that. I can sp I'm going to speak about Savile. Oh, I'm going to let all that shit out. Oh, the royal family ain't going to like that one. <laughs> I'll tell you that now. That's not going to go down well with the royal family, that one. 
Yeah, so Shadow's a fucking wrong and rapist weirdo. Do you know I mean wrong? I mean, did, listen. Let's let's talk a little bit about what I saw that night, right? So what I saw that night, night was him grab hold of a young bird, and when he came to the camera, and he went, "Yeah, lads, yeah, lads." She's about twelve or thirteen. She's about twelve or thirteen, and then went back over, started groping her again, and then he, he come out, and then he was like, "I was all for entertainment." It was, shut up, bruv. That was not for entertainment. You don't get pissed out of your head for four odd hours and know what you're doing. You're not scripted there, bro. You're not in a film. You're not in a film cast. That's who you are when you're drunk. That's who you are. That's the reason you are there. I said this. I said this in the video that I made before he even did that live. I said, why is he there? There's, there's so many places you can go in this world, right, that are much easier to get to, right? Seriously. For me, like, I will go to Thailand, but only with my wife. And I'm not going nowhere near that shit. I'm not interested in that. It's a dream holiday for me. I've always wanted to go for various reasons, but nothing to do with that. Right, but I'm going to tell you straight, you're a single geezer, and you go, and you're stopping in the middle of all that, yeah? You are only there for one fucking reason, and one reason only. Now, some men will go there to bang at least legal age women, prosies, whatever. Yeah, working girls, whatever, right? But obviously, when my man's in a bar and he's groping what he believes is a 12 or 13-year-old girl and he's happily doing that shit on camera, oh, my gosh, man. Oh, my gosh. It's like, what the f So, yeah, the geezer's a blatant... He's a blatant wrong He's a blatant wrong -un. Like, it's, it was in front of your eyes. And there's no, like, there's no... Like, oh, it was an act that, can, that should be able to fool anybody, man. I swear to God, I'm not... I don't believe, right, yeah, that anybody is that stupid, honestly. I mean, is there anybody who's believing that? Because I haven't watched that video, right, yeah, but Mark Robertson, who's one of my fans, sent me him saying it was all an act. He sent me it on WhatsApp, Mark. Mark sent it me, saying it was all an act. Blah, 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 blah. It wasn't real. I was, I was playing basically a part. Do you know what I mean? Blah, blah. <laughs> yeah? And I was just like, I was so shocked. I was like, is this honestly your only comeback? Like, you can't go and apologise to nobody. You can't admit that you're an absolute wrong one. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can't. You've got to, you're trying to pull the wool over people's eyes. And are people actually believing it? Because I don't know if anybody's that fucking stupid and gullible. Babe, would you give that to Annie and ask me a coffee, please? Yeah, well, I honestly can't. I, like, is, is anybody really that gullible to believe what this geezer is saying in the aftermath? That he didn't mean it, rah, rah, he was just acting, he was putting on a show for everybody because that's what everybody wants. Nobody wants to see you groping a 12, 13-year-old girl on camera. Trust me, nobody wants to see you doing that. Oh, Tony kicked the shit out of him, bro. Annika would beat him up, you know. I'm not joking. I'm not going to go into my sons. I'm going to tell you straight. Annika can, Annika's a knocker, right? She'd batter that geezer. Annika would beat that geezer. If he ever came anywhere near her, just, all I'd see is just her going mad, punching somebody in the head. Do you know what I mean? In the middle of a pub somewhere. I'd be like, what the fuck? Do you know what I mean? Because I'm telling you, she'd batter that geezer. He wouldn't even expect it neither because she's only little and that. He wouldn't even know where it was come from, man. But I'm telling you, she's a knocker. Bang, bang, bang. She hits like a man. She don't, she don't slap or anything. She don't pull air. She punches. You know what I mean? So, yeah, she'd do shadow. I've watched him in the gym, man. He's a flake. He's a flake. No, the, obviously the girls didn't know it was an act because it wasn't a fucking act. That it was for, for me, it's like... For me... I'll tell you straight, it's, it's just like he showed his true colours really, didn't he? Do you know what I mean? There's, everybody gets pissed, right? And does daft things on camera when you're pissed. Everybody does, yeah? But doing that kind of shit is, it's unforgivable really. And it's not even that. It's then obviously him going and threatening old men for no fucking reason. I'm creating drama. I'm creating drama. No, you're not creating fucking drama. You're acting the fool and you're a bullying piece of fucking shit, mate. Them old fucking geezers. You, you were stood next to one geezer, right, telling him you're the IRA and you shoot people's kneecaps off. What the fuck, bro? 
If I've been stood next to that geezer in a pub, I'm like, do you want a drink, mate? My name's Danny, pleased to meet you. What's your hobbies? What do you do? Have you got, have you got missus and kids? Have you got any grandkids? I mean, that's what I'd be doing. But no, I am part of the IRA. I take people's kneecaps off. What do you mean, you fucking idiot? Honestly, you absolute idiot. So yeah, anybody follows him now, and you are seriously of the same stable as him. Like if you are, if you follow him, especially if you donate to him and shit like that, I can un understand people wanting to watch the train wreck. Yeah, I can understand that, but come on. I don't like Deck. I don't. I've got nothing exactly against him where I'd go against him and make video after video like everybody else does. I made my opinion on him, but I just don't like him. There's something off about him. There's something off about him. I've never really watched Decker, right? I haven't. I've only, I only started watching him because video Craig's fucking lives were always over my live stream. So I thought I'd watch a few of them. And then I watched him. And through watching him, there's just something off about the dude, in my opinion. There's just something off. I don't know what it is. But well, there's something definitely off about that dude. On YouTube, though, you've got to look at it like this, man. Yeah, there's... There's, <laughs> there's so many people on here trying to get fame. Trying to get this, trying to get that, usually off the back of people's names. Right. And for me, it's kind of like, if you're going to use somebody's name to get recognition, fine, whatever. If it helps you out on your, on your, on your YouTube channel and the person don't really mind, then fair enough. But for me, using somebody's content... That you, sus that you suspect or you know in your heart is like a wrong one or whatever. That's where I draw the line. It's kind of like using that content, do you know what I mean, to earn money, like giving that person more views. Like I made, a vi I made two videos on this situation and then that's it, done, <laughs> finished. Right, and it's like a lot of people are saying, would you get in the ring with Shadow Boxer? No. Would you get in the ring with Decker? No. I mean, think about it like this, right? If I got in the ring with Shadow Boxer, yeah, and it was pay-per-view, right? I'm, listen, a lot of people would much rather see me. They'd be for fucking, they would be paying for that pay-per-view to watch me fight. Not to, they'd be paying the pay-per-view to watch me fight and to watch me smash his face in. It'd be all to watch me damage that geezer in the ring, right? That's what it'd be for. But he'd also be getting a cut of that, wouldn't he? And that would mean I'd be enabling the behaviour that we saw on camera the other night. And I know he's there to mess with underage girls. I know it. So at the end of the day, that's what it would be for, wouldn't it? Enabling that kind of behaviour. Fucking no chance. No chance. No chance. So it's, for me, no. No. I won't make no more videos on them because I'll give them more publicity from my own direction. Plus, I don't like that side of YouTube. I don't really venture in there very often. Yeah. And I don't like most of the people over there. I like a few of them, but I don't like most of them over on that side of YouTube because that side of YouTube is weird, man. It's a very weird place, that side of YouTube. It's not normal. It's so weird. I mean, I'm in a different side. I, I suppose I'm on the fringe of that side of YouTube because of who I am and I'm part of the English posse and the English crew of YouTubers, but I'm so different to all of those YouTubers. I really am. There's a big, vast difference between me and them. A massive difference. I mean, a lot... For me, a lot of them, in my opinion, do not, and this is just being honest, they don't respect themselves when they look in the mirror, you know. This is, to me, it seems like they have so much to prove to the world. I don't have fuck all to prove to the world. I know what I am. I know what I'm capable of. I know what I can do, yeah? So I have nothing to prove. But it seems to me like every fucking geezer on YouTube seems to have something to prove. If you've not proved it to yourself already at 30-odd years of age, then it doesn't matter how many fucking stupid fights you get on, on social. 
It's never, you're never going to prove it to yourself. You've had enough time to do it, and you haven't. I'd proved who I was to myself by the time I was about fucking 20 odd. Didn't have to go all the way through to fucking nearly 40 years of age or whatever and still not proven to myself who I am and what I am. That's, that's the, it's the mad thing to me. It's like watching loads of kids who are out there trying to prove themselves. That's what it is. It's like a playground mentality, a lot of it. That's what I look at it like. It's like a playground mentality. Like children. Seriously, like proper children. And most of that part of YouTube don't even... They've got no intelligence about them whatsoever. They are not... They have none. It is literally none. It's not... There's nothing to gain. Like, there's no substance. Do you understand what I mean? There's so many people on this app that do content that is just regurgitated stuff. Like, it's other people's content. It's not their own. It's not out of their own brain or out of their own heart. It's just regurgitated. It's either somebody else's actual clips that they're using or it's somebody else's name that they're using and it is constant. I understand talking about topics, talking about fights that happen, talking about beef that happens. I understand that because I do it. I, I'll talk about something if it's quite interesting at the time, but it's not, I don't, I'm not like flogging a dead horse. I mean, so it's, it's, it's a bit like to me. It's like these YouTubers are flogging dead horses. It's mad. It's like constant, constant, constant using just one geezer. Whether it be Decker Heggy, whether it be me, whatever. It's like Gary Duncan and me, isn't it? It's like a dog of a fucking bone, man. Gary Duncan, his whole channel is built on me. His whole fucking channel. He's got fuck all to say unless he brings me into the conversation. It's pathetic, man. So I like channels that have their original content, <clears throat> that do their own stuff, that are on some kind of journey of enlightenment or whatever it may be. I like those channels. I don't like watching channels that I call dead in the water because it's just constantly the same shit day in, day out, day in, day out. It never, never changes. There's never nothing new from year to year. Some of these channels, you never see nothing new from year to year. And it is the same shit. Like you'll have channels out here that say, I don't know, do clips of Dekahegi, right? And a year later, they're still doing clips of Dekahegi. 18 months later, still doing clips of Dekahegi. It's like, what the fuck, man? Do you have no content of your own, honestly? None. Well, Gary will, yeah. Because obviously, thing is with Gary, he's a Marxist. And his views are paramount and he won't listen to nobody else. Oh, no, for me, Lanessi, Mark showed me enough. He, like, when he sent me them WhatsApp things about Shadow, he sent me something about Craig as well. I just won't watch him no more. Do you know I mean? Because there's, like, there's certain things that you just don't say. I've made, like, a tikka masala, but my own style, my own way. Have you tried it now, Rob? Was it nice? Yeah, Annika said it's Booker. Annika said it's Booker. Sweet. I've done a good job then, aren't I? So, yeah, it's like, you know, like, I don't forget, I don't, I don't really, you know, watch too many other YouTubers, to be fair. Do you know what I spend my time on YouTube watching? Tony, you take this. What do I spend my time on YouTube watching every day? What do I watch? On YouTube? Yeah. She's daft, day, she? But I'm going to let her answer. I'm not going to answer for her. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I spend my time doing, you know. I don't watch... I watch I watched a bit of this drama and some of it unfold on Craig's Live and that because, obviously, everybody oh, was telling me I was getting bare videos that, Danny, you need to see what's going on with his Rick shadow. Shields. and Yeah, Rick Shields, right? And blah, blah. So I did delve in there and I watched a few. But do you know what I watch every day? Golf videos. I'm just watching golf videos, technique videos, fucking watching old PJ Opens, watching Nick Faldo play back in the day, studying his swing and shit. So, I mean, that's what I'm watching. Or I watch, you won't. I wonder if you'll know what this is by what I say, because she's not very computer savvy or anything at home. 
I watch a lot of law videos. What's a law video about? You've been with me for so many years. I'll, be, I'll still be surprised if you know what it is, though. What's a law video about? I watch law videos all the time. I'll give you a clue. Like them, when you're like researching all your stuff, like them doctor professional people, huh? No, 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 no. Not when I'm doing like real life stuff. Oh. This is to do with games. Oh, that. Oh, so them. About the games and that on the. Do you know what law is, though? No. So explain, you don't, dear, so no. explain to you. So what am I doing when I'm watching, like, you know, when I'm watching, like, Destiny, I'm watching a Destiny law video. What am I watching? Destiny. <laughs> yeah, but I'm watching, what I'm watching is, so you've got the game, right, that you play. You're watching, like, the film bit of it, no? Well, no, the story behind the game, that's what law is. Mm. It's the story and the characters and their backstory that's behind the game that you're playing. So when I'm watching them Destiny and videos and Warhammer and all that, yeah, I'm just watching law because it's fascinating. Do you know what I mean? I prefer watching the law most of the time more than fucking playing the game, to be fair. But... So, yeah, that's what I spend my time on YouTube watching. Seriously. Law videos on games. Even some games I haven't even played. I just like watching law videos because they're interesting. Yeah. Golf constantly, all the fucking time. And then sometimes I'm researching into health and stuff like that. Or... Oh. If I've got to research something for a video. Yeah, but other than that, that's really all I spend my time watching, you know, golf and law videos. <laughs> I know, Danny, but I'm going to wait and see about the reviews on it because Destiny's dying, you know, bro. Well, for me, the only games I've got on my system at the moment... Oh, I don't know. I know I've got a golf game on there. I know I've got Phoenix Rising. I don't have Call of Duty on there no more. I can't remember. I've got another game on there. Thoughts on this Lucy Let Be? I don't know what the fuck that is, bruv. What's Lucy Let Be, brother? I don't know what that is. Yes, boy. That's who I watch you for, yeah, that's who I watch on Destiny Law. Hello, my name is Bife here. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Yeah, what, what is this that you're on about, bro? Baby murderers. By fear. Just go onto YouTube and type in uh, Destiny, by BYF. Is it the nurse who killed all them babies in the hospital? Is it the nurse who killed all them babies in a hospital, Tony said? Oh, yeah, there we go. I, d I didn't know. So what's this then? Film here. That nurse when she killed all them how? Why? How? What? 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 Like, how? She's probably putting things in the tubes that were feeding in all different ways, all different ways. Out of the way she could have it. Uh, well, so, so come on then, right, so let me, uh, fill me in. Fill me in, folks, fill me in. And then I'll tell you what I think. I don't know what's going on. Well, she's been killing babies. She deserves life, obviously. There's, there's no way around it. She probably deserves the death penalty, but we ain't got it no more. So fill me in. Injecting air into... The... Ooh. So she was like basically a nurse of death. That's what she... She was just... She just, she just wanted to kill kids. R.I.P. to all the little babies, man. That's fucking horrible, eh? That's horrible, isn't it? See, we should have the death penalty for this, man. The, p people like that should not be allowed to breathe no more. But to be fair, after what she's done, she's done. She'll have a hard time in jail and it will be deserved. And I hope she has a very hard time in jail. Yeah, the angel of death. Well, she's not an angel, is she? Do you know what I mean? We'll call it just death. Walking death. In women's jail, though, to be fair, the inmates will know she is and they will find a way to get their hands on it. Did 
disgusting this world though sometimes to be fair folks it's absolutely disgusting what goes on is terrible absolutely terrible shouldn't be allowed but it is seven life sentences so she ain't gonna get out until she's done and dead she's gonna rot in jail best place for her but i don't think she should be even allowed to breathe I, I know it sounds real cruel and that, but... I think she's done it for quite a few years, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, for me, it's like, come on. And I sometimes an eye for an eye is, is real, and it needs to be done, man. Because back in the day, if a woman did that in a village to, like, and got found out, they would put her head on a block and they'd cut it off. Or they'd give all the mothers knives and just let the mothers go into the hut and deal with her, in whichever way they saw fit. You know what I mean? But now it's like, we'll put her in a jail cell where they've got, nowadays, I mean, when I first went to jail, you didn't have TVs or nothing. Now they've got TVs and everything in there, right? So you get, you get three meals a day, TV in your cell, gym, library, Education, if you want to further your fucking mental state. You shouldn't be allowed that, man, if you've killed loads of kids. You shouldn't be allowed that, man. Death. Death. That's what it should be. I've always said this, like, it, like grapists or PEDOs, right? Yeah. In that case... When it's proven, and it's DNA proven, it's proven. There's no way out of it. It's totally 100% proven, right? Do you know the families of the people should be locked in a room with these fuckers and no charges are brought? They should be allowed to do what they want. Honestly. Like, you should let the families... Like, you've obviously PEDO'd, say, my daughter, yeah? Then... You should get convicted to death, but your death should be at the hands of me and Tony and my sons. We should be given the right to deal with that ourselves so that we can get some fucking closure. Knowing that you ain't breathing no more and we've ended your life. We should have the closure. You should not have no rights for what you've done. The family should get the closure. <clears throat> but it's inhumane. It's inhumane to give a family baseball bats and let them smash every bone in somebody's body that's PDO the six-year-old. It's inhumane. Was it not more inhumane for that 30-year-old geezer to be messing with a six-year-old? Has he not scarred that child for that much of its life, for the rest of its life, really? Yeah, the, the child is scarred now. You've, you've basically taken a life away, even though the child is still breathing, you've taken a life away because you've taken a child's innocence. That's what you've done. Yeah, so you've ruined that child's life and the parents' lives. They'll never trust anybody ever again. You've ruined the whole fucking family's life. And you, like most of the time in these cases, right, to get, what, five years? <laughs> well, what? Are you fucking joking me? Is that how far society has fallen? That we are willing to literally, like... I know lads, right, that have been to jail, right, for having a fight. And they've got, like, they've had a fight. Yeah, they've done a lot of damage to the geezer, but it's been a fight over a normal situation, you know, like a normal fight between two normal geezers. One of them's lost and he's got fucked up, right? And my mates ended up with five years in jail, right? Then we've heard about some ra raving PDO from round the estate. Yeah, he's been battered, do you know what I mean? Bare times, the police have got him, he's been locked up. We're all thinking he's going to get 10 years for the shit he's done. Man gets sentenced to two years. And then rehoused when he comes out in a different area of a different identity and everything. <laughs> what are you on about? You're joking me, man. It's wrong. But I've said it before. There's a reason for that, you know. There's a reason why these laws are not stricter on things that any normal person like me or you knows the law should be so much stricter. Literally. 100%. Like that woman who took those children's lives, the, them little babies' lives, she's took, what, seven lives and tried to take 12 more, right? 
So the families of those seven babies should be allowed in a room with her with baseball bats to end her life in the most gruesome, fucking, long-lasting way possible. But no, the law will protect somebody like that. Why? It's like rapists, isn't it? And PEDOs, right? The law will protect them. Why is that, though? That's because, honestly, and this is the what it is, you know, it's because the people who make the laws are of that way. So they are thinking in their mind, right? But I know this because of who I am, right? So if I became prime minister of this country, I would change certain laws and I would bring back the death penalty for these things. Because for me, I'm never going to be facing the death penalty because I'm never going to do anything like that. I've never done anything like that and I'm never going to do anything like that. And I know that in my own heart, 100%. So I'm never going to be on that chopping block. But these people make these laws that are kinder to these wrong because they know they're wrong and one day they may get found out and their head might be on the chopping block. And they want to be segregated to a nice cushy wing away from general pop. That's what it is. They don't want to face the full consequences of their actions because the people who make the laws are fucking wrong -uns. That's how it is. So if you're ever wondering why you hear a case of a PEDO, yeah, right, in court and he walks out with a 12-month suspended sentence, if you're wondering why, it's because that judge who sentenced him is that way inclined. And so is the people who make the laws. It's that simple, man. Don't look at it any other way. It's because the people above you all and above me and everybody else, the Matrix, they're all fucking Romans. Trust me. And on big scale as well. Well, Risky, you know what I'm like, bruv. You start me off on a tangent and you don't know where that tangent's going to go. Uh, I don't know, Stephen, maybe. Uh, I can't run for PM, man. Jesus, they would never let me in Parliament. Are you mad? Think. Think of being the House of Parliament. You ain't talking me down. You ain't telling me to sit down. You know what I'm like. These are a bunch of posh toffs, man. They ain't never been in a fight in their life. They've never, ever, ever been in a confrontation. <coughs> so it would literally be me saying, shut your mouth and sit down, you're a liar. You're a liar and you're wrong and get out. <laughs> I swear, I'd end up sacking the whole of Parliament. Seriously, I'd end up sacking the whole of Parliament. They'd all get sacked. I'd start fresh. The way Parliament should be done, yeah, to have good people in Parliament, is you should have an area, like this area, so the West Midlands, yeah, and the people in the West Midlands get to vote for whoever they fucking want, yeah? And basically from that, you would pick out the three top people in the West Midlands that was voted. And then the West Midlands has got its candidate, right? And then Manchester would do the same. Liverpool would do the same. London would do the same. Yeah? We'd have it split up all over the country, right? And then out of every area, you'd have, like, three candidates, right? And then they would be voted on by the populace. But anybody... Whether they've been to jail in the past or not, whether they've got a criminal record or not, probably some of them people, if they're reformed, would make the best fucking prime ministers, right? Because they've lived a life and they know what needs changing. Right? And you've got to understand, the lower class would be included in this. Like, I'm part of the lower class, so the poor class, us lot. <laughs> right? At the moment, it's kept all to the upper echelon. It's kept to the elite. That's the only people who are allowed in that shit. Trust me on this. Right? Nah. I'd spread that shit out to the common man. Because that's how we'd have change. That's how you get change, trust me. Having somebody who's lived and who's had to fight for stuff and who's had no food on the table and who's been worrying where his next bills are coming from. Well, do you, all of us who are watching this, not just me, all of you know bare ways to make this country better, right? And we're not politicians. We've not been to fucking um, 
Oxford or Cambridge. <laughs> do you know what I mean? We haven't. But we all know what to do to change it for the better, right? And if you're not money orientated and you don't care about the elite and you don't care about making the elite richer and you only care about the populace, how fast could you turn this country around? I reckon I could do it within a year. If I was actually using the taxpayers' money for what it's supposed to be used for, the NHS would be booming again, man. Your taxes would be down. Your petrol would cost hardly anything because I wouldn't let them rip me off like that. Do you know what I mean? I'm not joking. Exactly, Big Gaza. Somebody who struggled, bruv. Somebody who knows what it's like to be where we are. Do you think national minimum wage for the price of everything should not be £16 an hour now? It fucking should, you know. For the price of what it is now, it should be £16 an hour. What is it, £10.50? I know this stuff, you know, folks. I don't speak about too much of it on here. So if I go too deep, you know, you know the way it is. But trust me now, we should be on £16 an hour, basic wage. That's so you can live normally and have a life. All, the, all of them grew up with a silver spoon right up their jacksy, bro. And when you've got a butler and you don't have to wipe your own ass, what good are you to me? What good are you to me? You might have the, pull, the wall pulled over everybody else's eyes, but if you've never experienced fucking... Listen, what makes a good person? Making mistakes, learning from them, and adapting, and growing. If you haven't had these obstacles in your life to overcome, you are nowhere near as evolved as, evolved as a normal human is. And these rich fuckers have never had to struggle for anything. They've never had to strive for nothing. It's all been given to them. So they are the weakest of our society. And it's mad because the strongest of our society are not nowhere, right? They're kept so far down, it's unreal. And the weakest are the ones that run us all. How does that work? How do, tell me how that fucking works, man, because I can't figure that shit out, man. Exactly, James. Experience, bro. Walls and hurdles that you've got to go through and overcome. That's what makes a good man or a good woman. See, I'm all for having a, a prime minister who's a female or a male. As long as they are a good fucking person and they care about the populace. Because there ain't much of that going on around here nowadays, mate. Do you think it's not going to collapse? Trust me. It's on the verge. It's on the verge of collapsing, folks. We're so close. It's unreal. These fucking politicians and all the fucking fucking ca chancellors of the exchequers and all this fucking shit, right, couldn't run a brothel. I swear. Could not run a fucking brothel. They couldn't run a hot dog stand. They're that incompetent. They're, they're, they're that much thieves that they couldn't even run a fucking hot dog stand. They'd send it under in about three months. Trust me. How much do you think is being siphoned off what you lot pay in taxes and stuff? I'll be back at work soon. Yeah, I'll be paying all them fucking taxes that I used to pay. God knows how much every fucking week. I paid so much into this bastard government, it's unreal. And I know none of my shit. I mean, listen, I know none of my stuff. It's been siphoned, bro. And yours has. It's all siphoned by these rich fuckers to get richer. And then our basic needs, as in NHS, police force to protect the streets, doesn't get the funding that it... That, listen, there's more people every year in this country. So there's more people working every year in this country. So there should be way more taxes being collected every year in this country. And we can't even fund the NHS or the police force to what it was 10 years ago. Does that make any sense to you? Honestly, come on, think. The police force is understaffed. It's got less staff than 10 fucking years ago. So is the NHS, the pot. The waiting list are the worst we've had for... <laughs> Yeah, I think it's the worst we've ever had. It's the, it's the worst. Let's just call it. Let's just call it how it is, right? 
the NHS is for boot. And it's the funding. It's because the funding's been cut. How the fuck have you not got enough to fund these basic things that we need when there's more people working? I bet you Sunak's family's getting very richer by the day, though. I bet you they're getting so rich. I mean, they're already mega, mega rich. Like, you know, they'll be billionaires by now with how much they siphon now of here. How rich do you think Boris Johnson is now? I bet he's rich as fuck, man. They all are. Backhand payments all the way, mate. Right. I hope you enjoyed the live. I'm going to go and eat my food. Much love, everybody. Peace out, man. Thanks for watching. Thanks for fucking liking. Thanks for the donations and shit. I love you all. Peace. Oh, I know. Rishi Sunak's wife is rich as fuck. Look into her. Look where her business is conducted. That'll open your eyes. I'll see you all soon. Love ya. Love you all. Love you all. Love you, man. Peace.